Alright, what up YouTube? It's the No Pigeon Podcast. We in a the shack. And it's your host Yucca. And I'm sitting here looking like Cornell West in 72 working at a bakery. I'm sitting here looking like a Pakistani street vendor. But that don't matter. Today, we're going to react to this new uh, uh, Donald Trump first day out song. Which is clearly an AI, but still a banger. We about to take it in right after this intro. Hi, right, child. Um, we have taken these AI bars from Trump. And I'm not going to lie to you. Some of these AI joints are kind of fire. Some of them are stupid. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I heard a couple ones with, like, Biggie and Pac on certain beats where I was like, yo, if that shit was real, that would have been so fire when it came out at the time. But, uh, and it's still fire, right? Because I still fuck with Pac heavy. I'm a big Pac fan, right? Biggie, he good on a technical level to me. But I, I like Pac more because Pac... Personally, Pac, he motivates me and, and he triggers a certain emotional and psychological things that just kind of, you know, it, it's passionate to me. It's really passionate to me, right? And and, and I'm not going to get into the Biggie uh, uh, Tupac debate, but just remember, Pac, in, my, in my eyes, Pac is like Bob Marley, you know what I'm saying? You can go to Africa and other parts of the world and you see people that know their name and they have shirts with Bob Marley and Pac. And even if they don't understand the language... They understand the emotion, right? So that's why Pac is always going to be up here for me, right? And on a political level, Trump is Pac. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? No filter. The whole, the whole industry mad at him. All the other politicians slash rappers mad at him. And he don't care. He going in full force with how he feel. He's telling you, and you know he got no filter. You know what I'm saying? That's Pac. So let's take him Pac. Let's go. I wanna go to LA. Well, yo, this AI shit better not give me a copyright strike, man. I'll be so mad. But you never know with these beats, right? Cause they, so I'm gonna have to cut it off every like 10 seconds or something, taking these bars, but. Shout out Patriot J, Benny Johnson, Big Bongino, Alex Jones. <laughs> he's a Big Bongino. For those who don't know, that's Dan Bongino. I think, I think he's the owner of Rumble. Quote me if I'm wrong. He said Alex Jones, too. I don't know if he rock with Alex Jones, but you know what I'm saying? How come nobody shout out William Cooper no more? Shout out to William Cooper. How about that? Free my dogs and lock up the radical left gone crazy. Oh. I don't bail. I don't bail. I won't see inside a cell. Shout out thugger. Free my slime. Slat, slat. YSL. They trying to lock me up, but I'm plugged in in ATL. Got homies doing life in jail. They living in hell. These yeah. <laughs> Slat, slat. Shout out YSL. I feel like the dude that wrote this probably from Atlanta or something. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't know who made this, but it's, it's funny. But clearly someone wrote the lyrics, right? Obviously the AI. I, I don't. I honestly I have not dabbled with a uh, 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 with this AI stuff yet. So I, I, maybe I could learn something about it and learn some shit. You know what I mean? It, who knows? It could be kind of cool. But which reminds me, it might it might turn into a. Uh, Tango and Cash or something like that in the future where they start altering uh, 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 what you call it, uh, confessions and whatnot with this AI. We don't know, but let's go. DA's acting silly, my mugshot is with a billy. So some merchant made a milli, shot me milli out in Philly. Shot the baby, shot the salsa, Benny Butcher. Then my rollers called me racist, but these rappers riding with me. Then my soldiers, MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. I am not who they are after. I'm just in the way they want to get to you, but I won't let them cold hearted. No, I, I don't know. I feel like it started off with some kind of like Cardi B type flow and then somehow. Evolved into like a Kendrick Lamar Call me crazy If I'm tripping I'm tripping I don't know But that's what it sounds like to me But I don't listen to modern rap no more So You know what I'm saying Now I'm strictly classic soul But these bars are still kind of fire You know what I'm saying And just the fact that they said Benny Butcher I feel like he probably ain't from Atlanta no more He probably just some I don't know Some East Coast dude that got bars And he just Or just a fan of hip hop It could be a Chinese kid somewhere in the basement Just you know what I'm saying I don't know 
I'm artist, getting back to where I started I don't need to do the race I'ma beat them Rico Chargers uh. And if I go to prison, you can't do me like the Clintons I'll be laid up, eating steak with Secret Service Chilling, screaming, orange man bad The whole world mad, thug life Shout out all of my MAGA base shed Coming for the deep state I will stop the new world order But before that, I'll finish walls at the border YSL, slash slash, shout out Thugger Finny got nothing Yo, that's kind of funny still. That's kind of funny still. And I, 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 based on them lyrics, I feel like whoever made the song was probably a Trump supporter. So shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Trump doesn't have his flaws, but he is a thousand times better than Obama, than Hillary, than Biden, than Bush, than any, you know what I'm saying? Even DeSantis. Like, Ron DeSantis, to me, I like a lot of his policies. I really do. But I still think he's a politician and he'll switch He'll switch sides as soon as he gets elected, right? Because money talks, right? He came. He came to Trump. He came to Trump uh, 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 to help become elector. He uh, elected. He asked. He asked Trump for help, right? And then you seen him at the debate stage when they asked, "Would you? Would you? Would you support Trump even if he got indicted?" And he looked. He looking left and right, confused, right? The only person that really stood up and spoke his mind was Vivek, which I don't really trust Vivek either, right? I think he's cool. We in a similar age range or whatever, and he like rapping, or at least he tried. He tried to rap one time or whatever. I don't know, but I mean, there's the whole history with a uh, big farmer or whatnot that it kind of makes me apprehensive. You know what I'm saying? Because um, even Trump didn't have a history a uh, big farmer, but he managed to get paid off. You know what I'm saying? He was pushing that vaccine. I got. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it real, he was right. But if you look at Trump's overall history as a president. I rock with Trump better more than any other a candidate, right? Even uh, Cornell West, I feel like Cornell West is just too far left. He's too, hey brother, man, we love, we, we love everybody, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's just gonna like indiscriminately just uh, uh, be okay, be unopposed to every new legislature that's uh, uh, considered uh, woke, right? That's why I would never vote for uh, 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 a Cornell West or a Bernie Sanders. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, all these guys on the left, too, they're all, they all millionaires, but they, uh, how do you call yourself a leftist? How do you, how do you lean closer to socialism, but you, you a multimillionaire? I, I don't understand that, right? Like me, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not. But do I plan to be a millionaire one day? Yes, I do. I do. Even though I want to live on a homestead and be, live, live like a country bumpkin and have goats and chickens and hogs, I still want to. Be rich. I want to be able to live comfortably and not stress about it. The, the fi finances itself don't, money itself doesn't mean anything to me, but peace of mind, that means a lot. And you can't have that if you, if you dirt poor, you know what I'm saying? You can't have that. You can't have that if you get injured and you have, and you have to have surgery or you need medicine or you need gas or you need uh, uh, to, to restock on, on supplies and this and that, like you, you need money. It's unfortunate, you know, but that's, that's, that's what it is. But this song itself is a is I wouldn't bump it in the street. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wouldn't bump it, but I still rock with it. I rock with the concept. You know what I'm saying? I love that they got the mug shot. I love that they got the mug shot. You know what I'm saying? Which uh made them like seven point one million in a day. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Trump. He's a great businessman, even though see before before Trump even ran the campaign, I was so anti Trump. I I was like I, I was a, uh, uh, what you call that word in, uh, uh, I didn't really care. I didn't care. Right. But I, what I knew was that in the nineties, rappers loved him. The whole community loved him. Movies loved him. Everyone loved Trump, but not until he, he ran as a Republican. Did this new hatred for Trump come? What, what, what if he was, uh, what if he ran as a Democrat and everything he said, Oh, crooked Bush, crooked that the liberals would love him. They would ignore any flaws. Just the way that y'all did with uh, 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 Biden. Just the way y'all did with uh, Hillary and, Bo and uh, Bill Clinton. Y'all ignored their flaws. Just like y'all did with Obama. Y'all ignored their flaws. The drone president. The man who told you hope and change. And he's going to change uh, this war in Iraq. And what did he do? He stayed in Iraq. And he expanded to Afghanistan, Somalia, Sudan. He tried to push it for war in Iran. Y'all don't, don't care about that, right? Are y'all really leftists, or are you guys just trying to push push an ideological uh, 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 point? I I really don't know at this point, right? But I rock with Trump. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the 
dude who did this AI uh, song. I think it's dope. I wouldn't bump it personally, uh, but it's funny. You know what I'm saying? So I rock with it. Uh, all I can say is maybe come up with a new banger. You know what I'm saying? And don't copyright strike me. Please. Peace.